Hi everyone, it's Miss Lorraine. Today we're going to bake a vanilla confetti microwave mug cake. Um, you all should have received your recipe and you all should have received your apron. Um, I don't have an apron, but you guys, you wanna make sure that your apron's on so you don't get your clothes dirty. And before you get started, you wanna always wash your hands. Make sure that they're nice and clean before you start baking anything. Um, so I'm gonna go over the ingredients, what you need to do, and then we're gonna bake it together. It'll be a lot of fun. So you wanna start off with the mug. The bigger the mug that you have, the better. Um, so this one is pretty big, so I have that. And the ingredients are flour, sugar, uh, baking powder, vegetable oil, milk, vanilla, and sprinkles. And this makes it the funfetti, so that'll be nice. Um, okay, so it's really simple, really easy to do. What we're gonna do, these are all my measuring spoons. So you're actually gonna need the tablespoon, the half a tablespoon, a teaspoon, and a quarter teaspoon. So those are what you're gonna need. Oh, I'm sorry, and a half a teaspoon. So those are the baking the, uh, measuring spoons that you're gonna need. So first we're gonna start, and all the ingredients, by the way, they go right in the cup. So that's all you need to do. You just need to measure them out, put them in, mix it up, and pop it in the microwave. So the first ingredients is going to be four tablespoons of flour. So that's two, three, and four. All right, see, right in the mug. Your next ingredients are gonna be two tablespoons of sugar. So we're gonna go right in our sugar. One. And two. So usually what you do is you do all the dry ingredients first, mix it up a little bit, and then add the wet. So our last dry ingredient is the half a tablespoon, I'm not sorry, half a teaspoon of baking powder. So you're gonna take, measure that out and put that in. So now all your dry ingredients are in here. So I'm just gonna take a spoon, mix it up a little bit, just make sure they're combined. Okay. And now right in the same cup, we're gonna add our wet ingredients. So the first wet ingredient is four tablespoons of milk. So you're just gonna pour carefully. One, two, three, and four. Okay. The next is one and a half tablespoons of oil. So we're gonna do the one first. And pour that in. And then you're gonna take your half a tablespoon and pour that in. Okay. And then your last wet ingredient before your sprinkles is gonna be a quarter teaspoon, so see, just a little bit of vanilla. All right, and you're gonna put that in. Now all your wet ingredients are in, you're gonna mix it all together before adding the sprinkles. So we're gonna take our spoon, see how it's all just mixing together. And it's not gonna look like that much in there right now, but it will rise. You'll see when you put it in the microwave. So we're just gonna give it a good mix. Looks like everything's all combined. And what I did, um, I just got an extra spoon so you can kind of get out, clean off the spoon that way so you don't even have to get your hands dirty. I'll just give it a little mix. Make sure all the flour is mixed in. And now your fun part is you are going to add one tablespoon, so that's the big one. Um, I'm actually gonna just dry it off a little bit because I did have my oil in here. And then you're gonna do one tablespoon of the rainbow sprinkles. So I actually have, they're not, they're, they're the little sprinkles, so you can use these, or if you wanted to get um, like the bigger sprinkles, those are fine too, whichever ones you happen to have. So one teaspoon of those, pour that right on top. Then you're gonna take your spoon again and mix it. 
And you can see, just till it's combined. Look at my spoon's all rainbow colored now. So I'm gonna do the same thing, just get all the ingredients off the spoon. And now you're done. What you're gonna do now is you're gonna put it in the microwave. Uh, my uh, recipe that I gave you calls for a minute. I found with my microwave, it takes a minute and 15 seconds. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it in for a minute and 15 seconds. But what you wanna do is you wanna put it in for a minute. And then if it seems like it needs a little more, then you can put it in for another 15 seconds. But I'm just gonna go right ahead and do one minute, 15 seconds, start. And then you could always tell when it's done, you could, will take a Q-tip. And when it's done, you'll put the Q-tip in and that's how you'll know it's done. So I had actually pre-baked one. You can see what it looks like. And when I put my toothpick in, it comes out clear. So now you know that it's good to go. Um, and then another thing that you could do, which is actually makes it taste even better. It tastes delicious as it is. If you don't have it or if you don't want to do it, um, you can add in some Cool Whip or vanilla ice cream. Now I actually don't have vanilla ice cream, so I'm just going to add in the Cool Whip. But if you have vanilla ice cream, go ahead, put that in and it will be nice and yummy. So I'm going to add a heaping since I don't have the ice cream, I'm gonna add in extra of the Cool Whip. And then if you wanted, where's the thing? You could even just do a little extra sprinkles on top. And there you go. There's your vanilla confetti microwave mug cake. My other one is done, so I will have more. I'm gonna actually try it now so you can see how delicious it is. Wow, it's really good. I think you guys are really gonna enjoy it. Um, it's so simple, it's so easy. You can make one for everyone, everyone in your family. And it's something that you can make over and over again because it's very simple ingredients that you have at home and it doesn't take long to do. So I hope you enjoy it. And just send us an email or a picture of it and just let me know how you, how you did and how you liked it. Okay, bye-bye.